Okay. Let's continue. Whoops. There we go. And there are a couple things on the ground here. Somebody dropped a stamp. That's just a white bone. I don't need that. Uh. Oh, good. He's a unique enemy, but he's not immune to fire. So that was good. I made short work of him. These guys are off. And let's see, what did he drop? Uh, another cake. Okay. I'm just going to exchange this for a potion of full mana, so that way I have that just in case of an emergency. Um, okay. Now there was a staff also, oh, right down here. Staff of Reflect, but it's not a magical staff, so I don't really need it. Okay, blacksmith oil, which I now know sells for quite a lot, in case I need to get some gold. I'm still hearing this laughter, which is kind of creeping me out. <laughs> All right. Okay, let me see if I could save. Yeah, I could save right now. So I'll do that. <clears throat> I don't know if I should go northwest up there or if I should just continue south. I think I'm going to continue south. Looks like I can clear out a large space down here and then I'll head back north. Is that laughter again? Another relic to town portal. <clears throat> Maybe I could sell those since I don't really need them. Okay, here's some unique enemies. I want to try to find a doorway quickly so that I could do these one by one. I'm not sure if that unique is going to be immune to Holy Bolt or not. He's not awesome. Alright, so he's gone already. Should be able to take these guys out easily. Okay. That worked out well. What did that unique drop? Ah, awesome. A unique light bow. Wow. I have no room. Oh, you will have room, don't worry. Now that I'm gonna identify because that's a potential to sell for a lot of gold once I head back to town. Okay, cool. Let me see what I have here. Uh, oil of repair do I don't need it there. Uh, Alright, I don't need to repair anything yet. Okay, let me see. Can, uh, I can't save yet. No problem. There's another unique. What I like about this game is that there are a lot of unique enemies. Which is cool because... Not only do they get more experience, obviously, than normal enemies per kill, but they also drop <laughs> my uh, point exactly. They also drop either magical or unique items. So let me see. I may have to just use this so I have enough room in my inventory for the, the club. I'll just repair my helmet there. Okay. Oh, wow, that looks pretty cool. That's I'm pretty sure that's a new graphic for this game. Okay. I cannot carry any more. Alright, I'm out of room. I'm going to have to make a trip back to town so that I could store some of these items and identify some. Let me see if I if I move up here, maybe I can head back to town. Yes, awesome. Okay, let me see. <coughs> I'll identify some of these items and definitely the bow and the club. Let's see what they are. Let me see if Adria first has any relics of identified because they're cheaper. Hello, good friend. Uh yes, here's one. And she has no books, but let me see, what are these stamps? Stone curve. Okay. Well, way too expensive anyway, but Okay, so she had one relic of identify. I'll use that to identify I guess either the bow or the club I guess I'll identify the club first. bone span 
Unusual base stat. Yeah, that is unusual damage. Plus 89% of the damage and minus 10 to strength. Well, it has a negative effect on it, so it may be selling for very, very cheap, but let's see. Greetings! Ah, uh, 62 gold. Yeah, it's not really worth selling. I could pick up 62 gold pretty quickly. So I'm just going to stash it up here. <clears throat> I believe the stash is bottomless. How may I serve you? Which means uh, I could pretty much save everything. Which is good because the completionist in me just wants to save every unique item that I find. Uh, but if it, if it does sell for a lot of gold, I'm going to sell for the gold. Okay, let me identify this bow Hello, here. My friend. And I may also identify one of the amulets. A nail feeder. Let's see what the affixes are on this. <clears throat> minus 50 to damage, triple shot, knocks target back, adds 12 points to damage, and armor class minus 5. Hmm. Some negative affixes on this here. This probably isn't going to sell for a lot Greetings. either. Yeah, 125. Well, I mean, it's better than than nothing here. It'll actually offset the cost of the identification and give me 25 more gold. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell it. That way, I don't lose any gold on that. Okay, and let's identify Hello, my friend. these amulets here. 3 to dexterity. Uh, I'll identify this one as well. Chance to hit plus 8 and 1 to dexterity. Okay, so. Let me see the difference in stats here. This is the 3 to dexterity. Raises my to hit to 59%. This raises my to hit to 65%. I'm going to keep that. And I'll sell this amulet of dexterity. No, it's only 17 gold left. Well, like I said, better than nothing. Um, probably identify. Let me sell this blacksmith wheel. And I want to identify this ring. Hello, my friend. It might be better than the ring that I have currently. Hit points plus 34, let's see. Uh, I want that absorb 33% to range damage, definitely. And what does this resist magic 24%? Okay, I think I'm going to keep the rings that I have. See if I can sell this. Greetings! 59 gold, alright, well, it's not terrible. Okay, the short knife and the cape, I'm just going to wait to identify until later on so that I save some gold here. Just arrange this real quick. Okay. The cape that I have is pretty good right now. So I don't see how this would be better, but I'll just save it to identify it later on. And I think that I'm ready to head back down. Alright. Almost that whole video was spent in town here, so <clears throat> let me save it quickly and then I'll head back down. Okay, let's continue on here. Alright, there's the entrance to level 3, but I'm not going to head down there yet until I do the poison water supply quest. Now I'm not sure how difficult the poison water supply quest is going to be in the hell. I know in the original Diablo, anything that you encountered, maybe with the exception of the butcher, but there were ways around that as well. You could trap him behind a door and kill him ranged. But with the exception of him, pretty much everything that you found, you could do as soon as you found it. As far as quests or killing enemies or whatever. Um, in this game though, that's not the case, so I'm not sure if the poison water supply is going to be extremely difficult or if it's going to be able to be completed at this stage in the game. So I'll find out. I'll save it before I go in and I'll, I'll try it. If I can't do it, I'm going to have to come back to it. 
Okay, this video is about to end.